Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials uh, S for privacy purposes, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. You said two months ago I took the TOEFL test and I got, your score was 67, so 12 points in the reading, 16 points in the listening, 19 points in the speaking, and 20 points in the writing. And then you studied really hard. And the second time, my goodness, you got 85 points out of 100, you got 18 points out of uh, 30, 23 points out of 30 in the listening, 23 in the speaking, <coughs> and 21 points on the writing. So whatever you are doing, keep doing it. Your improvements are remarkable. You're doing a very good job. So you said, I need to get 100. Is it possible to improve that much in one month? If yes, what would be your strategy? Uh, probably not. I doubt it. I suspect that as you get closer to 100, it's going to take you more time. It's going to be more difficult. You made a lot of improvements from your first to your second TOEFL exam, which is good. I mean, you went almost 20 points, right? Maybe 18 points improvement. My best guess is for you, if, if you look at what you've already done, you, you went 18 points higher in two months, I would probably, just to be safe, assume maybe five to 10 points of improvement for the next month or so that you continue to study. So my best answer to you is, is no. I don't think you can do this in one month. You're probably looking at two to four months I think before you will have solved everything that you need to do in order to reach that goal. So I recommend for you, there's kind of a two-fold strategy here that I'm going to recommend to you right now. There's kind of two different areas and let's talk about part A of your strategy and then part B of your strategy, right? So first of all, in terms of part A, um, I recommend that you continue to read each day for about 45 minutes. Uh, my recommendation is newspapers, magazines, and longer books. Keep it up. Read every day. Now, in addition to doing reading practice, I recommend that you also do some listening practice each day. Your listening is getting better, no doubt, but you still need to continue with your listening. I'm going to recommend about 30 minutes of daily listening each day. Uh, I recommend that you, if you have English TV, focus on news, documentary history, and especially science programs. But that's not enough of part A of your strategy. In addition to doing the reading and the listening practice, you should take notes on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Then using your notes, I want you to do two things. Using your notes, I want you to write three academic summaries each week of the reading and the listening passages. Now, your academic summary should be 250 words for each one. This is very good for your writing. Now, in addition to that, you should also be speaking about the reading and the listening passages. Similarly, using your notes, you should speak about the information, about 60 seconds, and I recommend that you do maybe three to five oral summaries each week. So this is part A of your strategy. So what are you doing right now, really? Think about it. You're doing some good reading practice, some good listening practice. You're writing and speaking about the information using your notes. You probably know that notes are very, very important for the TOEFL IBT. So the more you practice taking notes, the better you're going to get. You'll develop a very, very abbreviated system a complete accurate system of taking down the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. And that is what I call part A. That's part A of your strategy. Now, let's talk about part B. Part B of your strategy is, I recommend that you start going through the lessons in my online TOEFL course. And I'm going to recommend for you my 90-day TOEFL study guide. 
Now remember that you can use my course any way you like. If you do not want to use a study guide, you can go directly to my website and you can focus on whichever lessons you want. In all, I have more than 700 vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking lessons. All these lessons are going to help you develop your academic English language proficiency, little by little. Now what you can do is, once you finish my 90-day study guide, then you can take a full-length IBT practice test. The test takes about five hours. You can learn about these tests by going to the eighth section of my course. Once you become one of my students, you do have the option of taking a full-length IBT practice test. Now at that point, when you look at your score, you'll get subtotals in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Then you can make a decision. Are you ready? Based on your practice test score, if your score is close to 100, then I say go for it. Go ahead and, and register to take it. If your score is around 90 to 95, then probably you need a little bit more time, I think, before you will solve the language issues that you need to solve in order to improve. All right, so that is my strategy for you. So to recap this video right now, I basically answer your question. I said probably it's not possible. Probably not, I'm not going to say not possible because different students can do remarkable things. And you've already proved, I mean, you've already proved by going from 85 from 67, you did that in two months, that's very impressive, right? But I doubt you will continue to make that kind of remarkable progress. As you get closer to 100, it's going to take more time and a lot more effort. It really will. All right, so I just kind of answered your question there, and I gave you some tips on how you can reach your goal by presenting to you two different strategies. All right, anyway, thank you very much, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.